From thousands of feet up on Rampart Range Road, you can see the origin of recent floods. Right now we're standing at the top of Williams Canyon. So if you look down this area, this drains back down into Manitou Springs. So a lot of the damage that we've seen in Williams Canyon up Canyon Avenue, that's where this is coming from. This is Queens Canyon. Queens Canyon is the upper reaches of Camp Creek. And our concern up here is the burned area that you see behind me across the way. So when it comes down, we're going to get water coming down. We're going to get sediment coming off of the burn scar flowing into Camp Creek. With so much riding on the progress of the mitigation enhancements, the Forest Service and other agencies are adding 41 mitigation projects across the burn area, both on public and private land. I feel much more protected with the work that they've done. Roseanne Bowen's property in the Lower Wellington Gulch now houses a sediment detention facility. And though it's changed the landscape of her yard, she appreciates what it offers. Everything that they do here affects down, downstream. I mean, so any benefit that this benefits me also benefits everybody. And the last stand, so to speak, against flood water and debris flow sits just off of Highway 24. Right here is a sediment detention basin. What we're trying to do is slow down the water, capture debris, capture sediment, and then spread out the water. Uh, we're going from basically a gully like this, which could be, I don't know, 12 foot high, a wall of water, and spreading it across a floodplain as wide as we can and reducing the height of the water and also the energy that as it's coming into town. To date, the basins have prevented an estimated 1,000 truckloads of sediment from flowing downhill. Approximately 30 million will be spent on the project by years in in hopes to reduce the devastation floods will have in the area in the future. No, there's no way to prevent uh, these high flood flows. It all depends on the precipitation we get. The only thing we can do is try to lessen the uh, impact. We're trying to mitigate it uh, and we're doing just everything we can up here. John Martin, Fox 21 News.